So this morning, Kent and I are riding, pre-riding the Mud, Dob Mud Dobbers family enduro next weekend. We got an invite to come up here and kind of burn in the trail or, yeah, I guess make sure it's marked right. So uh, really nice of us to get that invite. Beautiful morning, it was low 60s this morning. And uh, unlike Kentucky, it's really dry here in Indiana. Unfortunately, Eastern Kentucky is devastated with floods right now. That's Kent in front of me on his new beta. We think Kent. About the beta or the trail? <laughs> the beta? Okay. Are you kidding? <laughs> They're both good. They're both good. <laughs> this section of trail doesn't need much burning in, though. No. Of course, we've got a couple of these guys that are all hot rodding it up here. <laughs> We'll see how they're doing at about 60 miles. <laughs> Justin would have probably come with us, but he is uh, prepping to leave for Idaho on Thursday for their tour, him and, and Todd Miller's tour of Idaho attempt. They actually start the tour on the 9th, which I believe is next Monday. I think we blew that turn. Yep, I think we did that wrong. <laughs> so, uh, probably wise of him to stay uh, stay at home and make sure he's got all his ducks in a row for that adventure. Now, yeah, it'd be crazy if he came out here and then got hurt or <laughs> oh, something. Oh, that would be devastating. Oh, Jeff's starting to pressure me. I can feel it. <laughs> Makes me no. nervous. No, 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 no. Makes no, me no. nervous. I actually hold a national enduro here every year. That's a lot of fun. I've rode it once, I think Kent's rode it twice, and they also have a dual sport event up here once a year that's a lot of fun. So, uses mostly all private property that they've been doing for what now, 60 years? Is that what you said, Kent? Yeah, I think the 60 year anniversary was like just, you know, two or three years ago. That's crazy. But uh, they've been able to maintain a relationship with all these farm owners that let them use the property several times a year. So what we're doing this morning, we're running a 20-mile loop, and the way I understand it, that's the the family enduro part of it. And then after lunch, we're going to go out and do another loop that's the dual sport loop. Yeah, I know. I think Kyle has done the dual sport. I'm pretty sure he's done it. <laughs> More than once. Yeah, John and I came up and did it once. Now see, I, I felt this thing hit the locks. Hit the what? Hit the steering locks. You're kidding. Feel it all the time. That's the first time I felt it today. I, I, at the sawmill is when I really yeah, noticed it. Yeah, yeah, Just even turning the damn thing around the driveway, I noticed it. Just have to use that Bill Dart uh, front wheel sort of 
locking it up, swinging the back end over. <laughs> Routine. Him and Ross laid on me. <laughs> that was a little tight. Yep. I drug. I'm a quarter of an inch wider than my YZs. I think I'm just going to leave it alone. It's close enough. Yeah. tell you these guys definitely make good use of uh, I mean look we got a field on either side of us mm hmm yeah and you know this probably isn't 20 foot wide yeah and from field to field 20 30 foot they do that summit Iron Man too do they? Running on the fence lines in between the fields. Ever been to Iron Man? Ah, uh, what? Oh, Crawfordsville? Yeah. It's west of Indy? Yep. Yeah, never been there. I know where it is on the map. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good track. The dirt's really nice, if it, unless it's, of course, flooded out, but... Believe it or not, big hills. You're dragging a stick. <laughs> 